school counselor here at George County High School. Today I'd like to talk to you about a few things concerning credit checks and registration that's coming up quickly. The first thing I'd like to talk to you about is your transcript. You will be receiving a packet of information and it has a lot of material that you'll need to use in order to schedule your classes for next year. The first thing we want to look at is a transcript and it looks something like this. There's several things you need to know. First of all, each term is going to give you the number of credits that you have earned for a total at the bottom. It is also going to talk to you about the schedule that you're currently in and we'll need to know this when we start our credit check in just a moment. The next sheet I'd like to talk about is the actual credit check form. Please note on this side of the form, it has the actual graduation requirements that you'll need to know about in order to schedule your classes appropriately. The credit check form also has individual specific content areas, English, math, science, social studies, your fine arts, your CTE classes, PE, health, computer, along with all of your electives on this side. It is divided up in order to help you easily do your own credit check and you'll always know what you need for the next year. The next thing I'd like to talk about is frequently asked questions. What constitutes the credit for PE? Well, you can take the class, you can uh, be in band, you can be a sport, a sport that awards credit, or you can be an ROTC three and four. Health, you can take the health class, you can be in ROTC 1 and 2, or complete the Health Science CTE class. Next is Fine Art. Fine Art includes art, band, drama, chorus, intro to music, intro to theater, and piano. Foreign language. There's always questions about foreign language. Do you need it to graduate high school? And the answer is no. However, university, some universities require that you have two foreign languages when you graduate and come into their school as a freshman. It is also required for Mississippi Scholars and Tech Master. The computer credit you should have already satisfied during eighth grade year at George County Middle School. However, if you did not, you can get it with computer science, keyboarding information processing, or technology foundation. And don't forget those nine electives that are required to graduate. 10th graders this year will also be doing a, what's called a career pathway credit check. In order to be a completer of the career academy that you chose, you will have to complete three of the required classes listed on the form. For STEM, it could be three of these choices. For CAD Academy, three of these choices. Or HH Academy, three of these choices. You will also be doing this credit check to make sure that you're on track to be a completer for graduation. Next, we have the master schedule. The master schedule is designed for students to pick their specific courses the way they want to take them in the new year. The master schedule is divided up into the content areas, English, math, science, history, and as well as electives, CTE classes, foreign languages, fine arts, and so forth. It is split up into first semester, which is block one, block two, block three, block four, and then second semester, the same is designated the same way, block one, block two, block three, and block four. You can specifically choose the schedule that you want. However, remember, you can't always get everything just like you wanted. Sometimes the classes fill up, and we would love to be able to accommodate you, but remember, sometimes we have to make a choice of uh, your alternate selection and place you there instead of your desired schedule. Please know we try every way possible to, to make it happen the way you put it down. The last form I'd like to, for you to look at is the new schedule, new year schedule form. Once you've determined what you need from the master schedule, you will then go back to your schedule form and write in what you want. First period, second period, third period, fourth period, Second semester, the same thing. Remember, if you choose a CTE class, it will go all year long. So you will definitely have to put that CTE class, for example, Law and Public Safety, you would put it in Block 1 on first semester and then in Block 1 on second semester. 
Also remember you need to share this with your parents. Take this packet of information home with you so that they may know what you've chosen and y'all can talk about your schedule for the new year. Make sure the student signs, make sure we have a parent signature. Make sure you read all of this information located under the choices that you've made. It is due back Friday, February the 24th to return it to your first block teacher. Please make sure you read all directions and follow everything appropriately and we hope that this will be an easier acclimation for you to schedule for the new year.